According to Cree Sean Rock, Diddy allegedly beat up Lemuel Plummer, the CEO of Zeus Network, by standing up for her during a wage dispute with the network. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown, if you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Cree Sean Rock is now a huge celebrity in the reality TV industry. Naturally, a major contributing factor in this is her relationship with Blueface. They made a great deal of money together, despite being a toxic pair. Even though Blue is going to jail for the next six months, she still has a lot of money to make overall. She appears to have been involved in difficult contract discussions, though, with companies like Zeus Network, the network that hosts the television series Baddies. She has been arguing with Zeus CEO Lemuel Palmer on social media. Since she believes the show is underpaying her, Cree Sean has pledged not to participate in it. Palmer then posted a number of Instagram stories as a result, saying we make smart investments. Not emotional, impulsive, or erratic ones. This eventually prompted Cree Sean to release a lengthy video in which she clarified a few of the figures and even brought up a Diddy-related tale. See, that's why Diddy jacked your up that day. The network wants to pay her $100,000 per episode, as Cree Sean clarifies. I said $200,000. You said a hundred. I said one fifty. I'm not going underneath that. Cause... She was paid $150,000 for a recent season that she performed while pregnant. Nevertheless, I'm about to bring a lot to the table. I'm about to go up against. I'm about to go up against. Moreover, she would want a place in the $200 to $300 if she returned. He grabbed Lemmy yeah, by his yeah. collar. Oh, it was like, true. don't ever play with that girl ever again. Regarding Diddy, she claims that one evening when Palmer and Cree Sean attended a party hosted by Diddy, Lemuel went to say hello. I know you will play with their budget, play with talent. Are y'all playing? When Rock thanked Diddy for his fondness for Cree Sean, he claims that Diddy seized Palmer by the neck and inquired as to whether he had also fooled with her. Palmer was then forewarned by him that Chrysian should not be toyed with and that she should be treated properly. In addition, a fresh video surfaced showing her going to the correctional facility with her intermittent partner. She even brought their new baby, Krishan JR. Naturally, this will frustrate a lot of people, since they want the two to be as far apart as possible. Regardless of your allegiance to the California MC or the Baddies star, you have to admit that their relationship has been toxic, unstable, and damaging for both parties personally. However, hard times make the hardened harder, and it's encouraging to see them set aside differences in order to work together on something far more ambitious. Before, Cree Sean Rock appeared to be reacting negatively to Blueface's arrest, which gave many fans cause for concern. Regretfully, their worries were realized, although we don't think this will lead to a complete reconciliation. If past events have shown us anything, it's that this couple's status is reset every week. But it appears that Blueface was better equipped than he should have been to handle this situation. Fans speculated that Blueface was back in jail after seeing an Instagram post from WAC 100 earlier today. His mother later confirmed this. Carlissa Saffold gave her thoughts on the situation and gave followers more information about his detention on social media. She holds the moms of the Thoshiana rapper's offspring accountable. Aiden got him one charge, Rock got him the one that violated the other, she wrote. That's why it's so quiet. Praying everyone now understands why I didn't want them together. Because parents want the best for their children. I love them all but not together. Praying for everyone to listen to their parents my baby is in jail and my heart is broken again. Because they don't listen. It's no secret that Blueface and Cree Sean have strained romantic relationships. But in one way or another, Blueface has always managed to make his way back to both of the women. He has been concentrating most of his attention on Jaden, the mother of his first two children, in recent months. He's been kept somewhat busy by her burgeoning rap career, yet he still finds time to pick fights with Cree Sean. The last time they got into a fight, Cree Sean accused Blueface of striking her during a botched drop-off. Subsequently, she claimed that he had broken the refrigerator door off when he had come to her house to try to fight her brother. In spite of this, Cree Sean Rock seems to be depressed by Blueface's arrest. Fans speculate that the ambiguous words she sent on Twitter earlier today have anything to do with her ex's legal issues. Damn, she wrote. In a later tweet, she added more storm clouds and broken heart emoticons. Naturally, this has sparked rumors that the founder of MILF Music is in jail, but Wack remained mum on the matter. No wonder we ain't heard nothing, a commentator jokes. Karma not playing 2024, another jokes. Many fans believe that Blueface is in prison while others think that WAC 100 was just trying to sell some new songs with this message. This a album cover and another one of their schemes, one commenter speculates. He has a new show coming out and needs the attention, another theorizes. Some fans have pointed out that just today, Blueface shared a trailer for his new Zoo series Rap Queen West. This seems to indicate that he's getting away with it, while it's possible that someone else just uploaded the video on his behalf. Whether or not Blueface is truly back in jail will only become clear with time. In the interim, supporters are curious as to what, assuming he is indeed in jail, could have precipitated the arrest. The rivalry between Soldier Boy and Blueface isn't going away anytime soon, and in contrast, it appears that things are becoming more violent. Furthermore, the most recent information we have on this matter comes from a sequence of removed tweets from the latter that were laced with threats. 
guy ever tried you and you just wanted to shoot his ass like f all the fighting I'm finna pop this yeah. he wrote on Saturday. You a dead man walking at Blueface bleed him. But this wasn't the 33-year-old's point of no return. In an attempt to put a stop to the entire feud, he also went on Instagram Live, however in a very dramatic and hopefully inflated manner. Oh my mama, man. the internet, that playing back and forth. Soldier Boy exclaimed, Let's die. Let's meet up and die. The thing that I said to the up, bitch, I fucking meant. DM me the Eddie, huh? we gonna be through the... Let's shoot it up. Let's shoot it up. In addition, Blueface responded to this thread on Twitter in a quite contemptuous manner, only implying that he is simply stressed out. His stomach hurting, he said as the caption for the aforementioned video on Twitter. Naturally, the California rapper has taken great pleasure in making fun of Big Draco during this situation and maintaining his lighthearted online persona. Nevertheless, he's moving quite quickly in this direction raising the question of how much he actually cares that this altercation doesn't bother him. Showboating is just as excellent for the gram as it is for Blueface, who recently trampled on one of Soulja Boy's plaques during a live performance. Considering their frequently erratic social media profiles, it makes sense to assume that they gain from this. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comments section and most importantly subscribe. See you.